you think it was easy to defeat me? Uh, kind of, yeah. Another day, a fresh run in TD Worlds. Uh, before I get started, I want to thank you guys for the outpouring of support on the last episode. I got like seven likes on the video as of this morning when I'm recording. And uh, that's why I'm bringing you another episode. If you want to see more content or more videos like that, please use the like button. That's kind of how I dictate everything that I do is, you know, the views are good. Likes are a way better way of expressing that you want to see more. So got a bunch of likes. Here's part two. Weird how that works, right? So last episode, we got to the second world. Uh, we got, I don't remember what this resource is from beating the boss, which allows us to purchase an upgrade. We, I did do the chain damage, so uh, tower shots hit multiple enemies in a row. Shield damage, however, is reduced by 25%. Done with that. Uh, I did do all of this last time, but it didn't save, so I'm going to quick uh, do a bunch of my purchases here. I think I want to do extra armor on low health. Yeah. I think we're ready to do another another run. So hopefully we'll get past uh, we'll get past the first world and get onto the second world. I don't know. That's the thing about a rogue like you never know how the run is going to go. And uh, actually thinking about it here, uh probably my I do like roguelike games a lot. You know, I played a lot of Slay the Spire. Um the roguelike that I that's a roguelike deck builder, but I think the game that I have the most amount of time in is honestly a roguelike game that I have the most amount of time in is uh, Risk of Rain 2. I checked the other day, and I have over 300 hours in that game, which is crazy. It's like my number five most played game, weirdly enough. But all right, we got, we got, uh, we got our triangles coming in here. They're trying to kill our cube. Or our crystal. But unfortunately, we got rectangles to stop them. And uh, it doesn't look like uh, the enemies are close enough to really see that chain damage kicking in. I think it's got to be more uh, compressed like that. Some more of that essence. Yeah, you can see... Yeah, there you go. You can see that there is a little bit of chain damage happening. Although it doesn't look like it's much chain damage. Which is a real shame. I thought, I was hoping it would be more, but, you know, a little AoE damage is better than no AoE damage. And we got some more of this resource, and it looks like our next one reward will be some more of the same. I think the enemies come from here first. Chain damage. Oh, it's 18% damage. Okay. Let me throw one here. And here. But as I said, any chain damage is better than no chain damage. In, yeah, basically, as with any game. There we go. Actually, we did a lot to that uh, little incursion there. And uh, no, I don't like that spot. I like this spot, this spot, and I think... I'll go place one there. We got the really big triangles coming in here. And that's not good. Oh yeah, it, ooh, how much does it chain? That is actually a lot of chain damage. Oh, and it can chain up too, so even if I'm hitting this rear enemy here, it'll still deal damage to the front guy. That's kind of nice. I didn't think of chain damage working like that. I always think of chain damage just like working its way back. I, I kind of forget that it can work up too. That makes sense. Going up instead of down. Starting from the closest and working its way out. Uh, more currency. Tower upgrade. Oh, everything's just going to be coming from here. So this is really, this is really easy to build against. How many enemies can this chain to? Does it say? Oh, up to four. Okay, wow. That is a lot. When doing the demo, uh, chain damage was like one of the strongest things that I... Uh, that I used. 
So I'm, I'm really happy that if I make it to the boss of this level, I can just keep having chain damage. Like, just having mass chain damage is entirely an option. I will try some of the other... I will try some of the other upgrades, but at this point, I just want to see how far I can get. Now, there's time to experiment later. Tower upgrades. So... So, I will be more susceptible to shields. So, I think I should take the sh uh, additional shield damage. I think I want... I've already got two tower upgrades. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go with another tower upgrade. And I'm... I don't know how well this is gonna go. I've never been very good at this level. They do come from over here first, so... Yeah, I hate levels like this where it splits. Like, I hate having to split defense in a level. But it looks like I'm keeping up on it pretty okay. Let's throw one more there. Or there. Oh, I'm really glad I got that shield thing. Actually, we handled that really nice. Just having chain damage. Ooh, additional. Okay. So now that I'm deal 29%, that's going to be a shop. I've only got 50, so I don't think it would be super meaningful. But now that I've got the... Oh, where did they come from on this one? Oh, here. Okay, perfect. Oh, they're coming from both. Okay, so now that I've got plus 29% shield damage, that pretty much erases the, uh, the negative from this upgrade. I can't get over just how good AoE damage is. Okay, now I'm getting kind of worried. I think I misplayed this level a lot, actually. Maybe I haven't. I don't know yet. Nope. I nearly misplayed it. But I think I came through in the end. Wow. Drop a fight. Ooh, a rare tower. A rare tower improvement. Minus 10% cost? Hell yeah, my tower is only costing me 90. Oh, this is real easy. Just, uh, since they only can come from one way, just fill in, start from the front, work your way back, and fill in. Chain lightning is just so good. So I, uh, so at my, uh, at my job here, uh, kind of a fun little, you know, personal story about me. Um, I've been with this, uh, this company that I've, uh, I've been with this company, uh, for five years now. Like I pretty much straight out of college went for this company. I had a little bit of an internship in another company before the internship ended. Cause, uh, unfortunately they just weren't busy enough to hire me on full time. But, uh, so then immediately a uh, three college, three month internship, this job, um, I asked my boss for, uh, my third week of, uh, my third week of uh, vacation for a third week of vacation and uh, I'm getting it so I'm super so I'm super psyched like, I'm, I'm very excited to have that third week vacation I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but uh, I'm really excited to have that third week vacation ooh another uh, or improvement but fire rate could be good Towers are cheap. This one only dropped the cost by 13. I think I'm going to take the fire rate on this one. And then we're going to get some more of that meta currency. Oh, hey! This is a fun level. Um, how I'm glad someone made it here. Uh, I came here to test some theories, but I fell into a trap. Can you help me fight back? Sure! So, I don't think enemies will actually go and fight him. 
they're going to come and target me, but at least his defenses will do something for me. So they will... At least in the demo, they didn't attack him. Ooh, but his demos don't... Or, but his, uh... Don't have the chain lightning. That's kind of a bummer. We do have some shielded enemies, but as you know, I did upgrade to do 29% shield damage, so I'm not worried about that anymore. I've covered that negative. And these... They're actually pretty strong, uh... Uh, turrets there. They're doing some pretty good damage. There. What is the cost? Yeah, 90. 90 per turret. That's pretty good. Finally, I can come back. Thank you, sis. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, Chris. Chris is my name. All right. Uh, more meta currency. Sorry about the odd cut there. Nothing like uh, starting a recording for uh, life to uh, want to interrupt you. Oh, where were we? Right, defending myself from hordes of baddies. Well, that's a really good shot of the uh, of the chain lightning there, or the chain lightning working. I love this game so much. As I said in the last video, I played the hell out of this demo. Like, when I put three hours in a demo, I realized there's something... I got... There's something special here. And I can definitely wholeheartedly endorse this game to anybody who's looking for a, a neat strategy. That's another two towers. Nobody's getting even... Nobody's even getting close. Chain Lightning Man is just too good. Actually, after the success of the Chain Lightning, I'm kind of excited to see uh, how the other abilities do. Yeah, they're not even getting close. Some more damage, though, might not go amiss. Oh, some projectile speed, though. That could be nice. I think I'll take the projectile speed. Ooh, shop. Okay. Damn it. Oh, I just got an achievement damage dealer. I'll check that out later. Oh, uh... Shoot. I'll take the extra life. Yeah, we'll take the extra life. Oh, it's already boss battle time. Oh, so we meet again. Uh, yes. Do you think it was easy to defeat me? Uh, kind of, yeah. You cannot even imagine what kind of power is behind me. Dude, I don't care what power is behind you. I'm just, I'm just here to kill you. That's all. Nothing personal. I wonder where the light's coming from. I'm actually really happy that I got the uh, this upgrade for the cheaper towers. I have a feeling I'm going to need it. But we've got such good AoE, though. Yeah, I'm definitely leaking from over here, so one more tower there ought to... Yeah, one more tower there, that ought to seal us off pretty nicely. So I think at this point, it's pretty much a cakewalk. I don't think they can really get to me anymore. Yeah, no, I don't think they can get to me anymore. I think, I think we're okay now. So then this tower spot over here should open up, and I should be able to start attacking this guy. Perfect. So now he's on. Now we're on the clock. Eventually, this guy will just die, but it's gotten its. Like, I see that he's got a health pool here, but I don't know how much that health pool is uh, good for. Or how much that health pool is. 
few more towers. And we're maxed out on towers now. So at this point, it's a matter of can I end him, this guy, fast enough before he sends more ways that I can actually handle. And I notice he's not dropping any of the crystal essence. Interesting. I wonder why that is. My tower that's attacking this guy right here might also be dealing uh, damage to him. Uh, damage to the uh, the enemies as they uh, come out. Ooh, stuff's starting to leak through. Come on, guys. We gotta get him. Yeah, the occasional uh, triangle is leaking through. So that's starting to get me a little worried. But we almost got him. Solid. How could I lose again? Ah! Have I miscalculated? Clearly. We will meet again! Pass you, He-Man! Success again! It was not easy, but it worked out in the end. Indeed it did. Time to get ready for a further journey. Boop. So that's one out of three planets captured. Well, one of three planets about to be captured. And... Nice. Forward on to conquer! I do like that, um, so far that the, the two planets... This one and the next one that we're going to do have a kind of, uh, do have a different feel to them. Like, uh, this last planet, everything looks like it's kind of taking place on the ground. I feel like this new planet, you know, things are kind of taking place up in the air. So it definitely has a very distinct feel to it. What's that? Oh, those are the, so those are the ones that split. Okay. That's how that works. So these ones with like the little, uh, I don't know what to call those, orbs floating around them, those will actually split off into more enemies. Fortunately, with my superior AoE and cheaper towers, it's not really proving to be a problem. So I definitely see how the cheaper towers is really good in the early stage of a level. Because if you can place more towers early on, it's less likely that they're going to get through, right? Ooh, another tower upgrade. Place you there, you there. I'll grab you at the corner. So when I'm placing down turrets, I'm kind of looking for how much area do they cover? Do they cover a, a good amount of area, or am I going to get? Am I going to pick up lots of enemies? Now I'm getting a little worried. I'm sweating a little. This is, this is very nerve-wracking. I have a feeling this one's about to hurt. Just a bit. That was really bad. Where did I go wrong? Do I take the cheaper towers or do I take the more projectile speed? I didn't see how many of those were actually shielded. I think I'm gonna take the cheaper turrets. Because again, if I can get more turrets down more frequently, probably okay. I say that as I just got, I'm getting invaded by, okay, so it cost me 87 as I'm getting invaded by a bunch of shielded guys. This could be where the run ends. Not gonna lie. Oh, shoot. 
that's where the run ends. Bummer, man. But that's all right. We can get some more progress. No, we can get more meta progress. Oh, you're here again, Chris. Uh, don't worry if things do not work out right away. That's fine that we don't succeed. The darkness is strong, but we're always ready to help. Don't forget to spend your scraps of matter in the shop. What can I get from the shop here? Unlock legendary rewards? That sounds really good. That actually sounds really good. Well, let's go to the armory first. So which one do I want to do this next run? Setting enemies on fire sounds kind of neat. Power shots freeze enemies so they stop moving? Projectile speed is reduced. I think I might do the freezing next, but uh, you know what? We'll take a look at that next time. Uh, again, if you want to see more of this content, please leave a like. It helps me out as a creator. Please subscribe. Uh, it means a lot to me. So you, you feel good about supporting small YouTube. But uh, I think uh, next time we'll do another run, see how far we can get. Uh, but uh, as I said, that's all the time we have for that's all the time we have for today. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.